Welcome back to Chimeric Gaming, you guys, and for those of you who are new, welcome to Chimeric Gaming. I'm your host with the least, but still very beast, Chimeric Gaming. So, um, in the last episode, we did the search for Kimi Maru mission. If my team, but my unfortunately, as you guys saw, if you watched it, my teams, um, unfortunately failed. But I've used them in the past, and they've worked countless times. I don't know what what's been going on. Maybe my opponent's been getting better luck. So the teams I have used they're kind of iffy but you use them use them today we're going to be doing the um redemption agara part two the reason i say part two is because we need kimimaru and you don't unlock kimimaru till missing nin so we're going to do the last of it and basically all we got to do is find a rock lee and win and we ultimately get gara rehabilitated so i'm going to use this team as I've used this team earlier, and the one that was in this place was actually Rock Lee. But overall, the team should generally work the same. And there's actually a skill. Oh, actually, you know, I'm going to go over Kimi Maru because I've never used him before. Well, I have, but you guys have not seen me use him. Dance of the Seedling Fern. Kimi Maru creates a forest of sharp bones, and all enemies take 30 damage. And all enemy attacks that are not mental or affliction deal 20 less damage for a turn. That can be really nice if used at the right time but there is you know a downside a backfire kimimaro has got to be at uh kimimaro has to be below 61 health the upside you deal damage they deal lower damage and it can't be countered or reflected on to dance of the Cl chlamydia dance of the chlamydia sure <laughs> the skill deals 40 damage to one enemy, stuns their physical and range for one turn. Downside, Kimimaro takes 5 affliction damage for 2 turns. Upside, this skill cannot be countered or reflected. Dance of Chlamydia, guys. What is this? Nonsensory. No, get out of here. Alright, Dance of the Chlamydia Part 2. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dance of the Camellia. It's a type of flower, if you didn't know. All those skills are based on flowers. Um. Kimimaru uses a superior Taijutsu and arms as a sword. The skill cannot. The skill deals five damage. Cannot be countered. It's just a basic skill. It actually used to deal damage to him, if I'm not mistaken, back in the old days. A lot of his skills dealt damage to him. It was the downside of using him. But um, I'll show you guys how to use this team in battle. So I'll see you then. So here we are in game, guys. We're up against an AOE team: Kankuro, Shigure, and Drobo. The two I see that are going to be the most problematic are Shigure and Kankuro due to the fact that their skills cost random. Jorobo is going to provide both uh, AoE support as well as defensive support so Dance of the Seedling Fern is going to be super nice in this game for sure. So the main combo with this team is just uh, Mystic Palm. Actually I'll use this now. I'm going to use this. and save a little chakra its main thing is mystic palm dance of the camellia and uh, piercing stab these two are going to deal 35 which is going to be 70 damage and mystic palm techniques are going to up it to a total of 90 damage if this is used correctly we should be put, put we should be put in a nice situation if not we don't but um also you can combo these two or these two so both characters will be used fine uh, comboed and you can even combo these two these these guys work great together there's a lot of synergy and it works fine so we're gonna focus on Shigure first so I'm gonna go ahead piercing stab and we're gonna go ahead with dance of the clematis or dance of the chlamydia <laughs> because what's also gonna be nice is we're gonna give ourselves lower health He's going to be put at an outrageously low amount of health, and his physical skills are going to be stunned. So that's going to be put that's going to put us in a nice situation. So I'm going to let a, let them go ahead and take their turn, and you'll see me back when well it's my turn now. So I'm going to go ahead, um, breath him, and then I'm going to go ahead and dance with the camellia. When I do this, it's actually going to break. The di it's going to break and it's going to deal damage. Wait, why didn't it break? 
Wait, it doesn't die? Why? They actually revamped that? That is awesome. Well, it's not really awesome for us, but uh, what's awesome is they revamped it to where he actually, it doesn't break when they're hit by affliction damage. Kind of dislike that. Oh, it's only when Jerobo gets hit. I have messed up. That's right. If this... Ugh, come on now. Whatever. Um, It's still going to be... It's going to be GG for Shiguri, but I'll see you guys when it's my turn. Would you look at that? My favorite skill is being activated. We're going to go ahead and go use Dance of the Seedling Burn. This skill is going to do nice, nice damage. I'm going to go this and dance the seedling burn take that so they're not going to deal much damage and we can deal some at least decent damage <laughs> our next target is going to be Conqueror. we've already taken a lot of damage ourselves though so it's kind of eh at the moment. We're not doing too well, but we're not doing too bad either. I'm showing you guys the team at least. So I'm going to go ahead, hit, hit, hit. <laughs> we're just going to combo outrageously at the moment. We just want him low enough to where we have a chance to kill him, which is right now. <laughs> so... We're doing low amounts of damage. He's probably going to kill off Obito. So, yeah. No, he's not killing Obito. Okay, this is surprising. I'm going to hold on to that bloodline. Hopefully we can pull off a win. I'm actually super surprised. I'm gonna try and dance of the seedling, dance of the seedling fern again. So I'll let you guys know when it's my turn. Ouch. Um, yeah, we've basically lost when uh, Kabuto is by himself. It's basically game over. You can't do a whole lot, and his skills don't deal a whole lot of damage. So, um, I know there's some other teams that you can combo with him. Uh, no Kakashi. And I think Conqueror. I want to say this is the team, so um, I'll let you guys know when it's battle time. So we're in battle, and we're up against a highly defensive and highly, out not outrageously, but a highly damaging team. Uh, these two are going to be AOEs, while Shino provides... Uh, chakra drainage support so with that I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, puppet preparation and hit Shino immediately we don't want him draining any chakra nothing of that sort so he's also our first damage we gotta kind of damage ourselves if we can dance with the seedling burn going and I've already got Kankuro going so anything with comboed with Kankuro and young Kakashi is gonna do some good damage and yeah, so I'll let you guys... Wait, it's my turn already? So I'm going to go ahead, hit, and hit. This is going to do, I think, 60 damage all on its own. Oh, wait. Yeah, it would have dealt 60. And he deals 5 less damage. So next turn, we're going to be able to poison bomb him and take Shino out. And yeah, so I'll let you guys know when it's my turn. And well, 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 we can already dance at the seedling fern with him. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. You don't want to, if you got a chance to use dance of the seedling, seedling fern, do not hesitate. It is a good skill to use. Use it almost constantly if you can. If you're being able to debuff your enemy's attacks by 20 damage, which is quite a bit in this game, that's like one fifth of your health right there that you just debuff. So in my opinion, that's amazing. Um, what I'm not liking is this. Unfortunately, 
they ignore stuns. So we're going to go ahead and hit them with a couple skills that are better in my opinion. Um, but at the same time, it's like, eh. But we don't want them taking damage and stuff like that anymore. So we're going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to go ahead and puppet prep again. And is that a unique skill? Yes, it is. It doesn't matter. We're going to pull this over. Um, that's actually a bad idea. I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Um, that's not too much. So next turn, we're going to be able to break that damage, at least deal 20 damage. And then if we can, we can combo with Kimmy or uh, YK Young Kakashi here and possibly deal a bit more damage. So I'll let you guys know when it's my turn. And it's my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go invulnerable. And I'm going to hit... Uh, I'm just going to hit him with a basic poison cloud. Or poison bomb. Just because I want to be able to dance with the seedling burn next turn. And just be able to do a, a little more damage. So I'll let you guys know when it's my turn. So like I wanted, we can dance with the seedling fern. But unfortunately... Um, they went in and vulnerable, but that's okay, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and stack another poison bomb and get ready to dance at the seedling fern because no matter what, I want to take out uh, Haku. Haku is very scary, and if I can't, Tamari. Tamari, if we could take out Tanar Tamari next turn, it will be a job well done, in my opinion. So I'll let you guys know when it's my turn. And unfortunately, we can't take out Tamari. I'm going to go ahead, dance the seedling, and combo into it with uh, Black Secret Machine one shot. As much uh, as that is, I have, I literally had um, no choice. Um, I was only able to deal 20 plus the extra 30, which is only 50, and I needed to take out Haku. I need to limit how much chakra they're gaining every turn, because if you guys don't know, you gain one chakra per turn per character. So, what I mean is, if you have three characters alive, you're getting three chakras per turn. If you have two characters alive, you're getting two chakra per turn. So, with Kunkuro only costing randoms, we can use a move almost every single turn. And right now, they're getting a ton of ninjutsu. I've seen people, I've actually done it myself, to where I've soloed with Tamari against two characters, because Tamari is utterly powerful. So, I'll let you guys know when it's my turn. So, here we are. We're able to use moves. I'm going to go ahead. Secret Machine one shot. We have more than enough chakra. Um, so, basically, up at this point, it doesn't matter what we use. It's basically a dead Tamari if they do not have Ninjutsu. If they do, it's whatever because we can just buff ourselves with a puppet preparation the next turn. In order to get a little defense and uh, add a little more... Uh, offensive support to ourselves but you know what that's game so I'm gonna mute this because it's obnoxious and that's basically how you use this team um, it could have gone better but it's at least something you guys can use so I hope you guys put it to the test beat those Rockleys finish our uh, redemption part two and I wish you guys best of luck so thank you all for watching and as always goodbye